so let me begin with this uh, question <clears throat> a very simple question which is based on the normal form so i hope you can read the question find the unit vector perpendicular to the plane r dot 2i plus j plus 2k equal to 5 okay just a quick recap of what we did in the last class regarding the normal form so basically normal form is where your uh, distance from the origin is stated so let's say this distance of the plane pi from the origin o is stated as p and not only that you are provided with the direction cosines of this normal let's say l m n right so what is the equation for such a plane equation for such a plane becomes r dot l i plus m j plus n k is equal to p okay this is the vector form for it if you write the same in cartesian form it becomes simply replace your uh, r with x i plus y j plus z k that means you do this activity okay and when you just do the dot product you end up getting lx plus my plus nz is equal to p so this is the cartesian form of the equation okay based on this form itself is the question find the unit vector perpendicular to the plane this okay so now try to compare this and the given equation Done. Shreya says done. Anybody else? Okay, simple. Just compare these two equations. So this we know that it's a unit vector. It's a unit vector which is perpendicular to the plane. All right. So all you need to do is make this a unit vector. So the unit vector. which is perpendicular to the plane is just this vector divided by the magnitude of the vector that is 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square which is nothing but 2i plus j plus 2k over 3 okay now there is one more thing that is associated with it that if you would make this as a unit vector by dividing by 3 throughout then the constant on the right hand side signifies the distance from the origin so if i write the equation like this r dot 2i plus j plus 2k over 3 then the right hand side becomes 5 by 3 right because you're dividing by 3 on both the sides and this number starts behaving as the distance of the plane pi from the origin plane from the origin okay so last class i had also told you that the learning here is that whenever you have been provided the equation of a plane in the form of ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 these numbers a b c and d are not ordinary numbers they signify something or the other about the plane the numbers a b c actually signify the direction ratios of the normal to the plane i'm sure you have noted this down last class also okay and mod d by under root of a square plus b square plus c square it represents the distance of the plane from the origin distance of the plane from the origin so please keep these two things into mind so whenever you see the equation of a plane you should know that the coefficients of x y z are nothing but they are direction ratios of the normal and the constant divided by under root of the square of the coefficients of x y z added up will give you the distance of the plane from the origin is that clear everyone shall we'll take a next question on this now uh, the same concept just formulated as a question find the distance of the plane 2x minus y minus 2z minus 9 equal to 0 from the origin i think you should not take more than 2 seconds to answer this chalo so uh, what is the distance tell me fatafat so we have just discussed the distance is mod d by under root of a square plus b square plus c square we'll also discuss this concept when i am doing the distance of a point from the plane but since we took up that normal form i thought i will take a problem on this so mod of minus 9 by under root of 2 square minus 1 square minus 2 square. That's again 9 by 3. That is 3 units. Done straight away. 
just by appreciating the normal form you can solve this question is that fine no questions let's have another one then okay find the vector equation of a line okay so i am asking you equation of a line this time passing through 3i minus 5j plus 7k and perpendicular to the plane 3x minus 4y plus 5z equal to 8 so there is a scenario like this that there is a plane and there is a line which is perpendicular to this plane okay so this is your right angle okay so let me call this plane as pi plane this is l line yeah we have to find the equation of the line just type done when you are done okay so so that i know who all are done Sir, done. Done, everyone. Sir. Yes, sir. Just warm up problems. These are not the difficult ones. They're just a warm up problem. Okay. So I'm sure uh, the direction ratios of the line will be same as the direction ratios of the perpendicular to the plane. And you know that three i three minus four and five represent the direction ratios. So you can write the equation of a line directly as x. In fact, they're asking you the vector equation. So let me write vector equation. R is equal to 3i minus 5j plus 7k plus lambda times uh, the coefficient of these x, y, z. So form a vector by using these coefficients because those coefficients represent the normal direction ratios. Okay, so this is the answer. Simple as that. If you have to write the same thing in Cartesian, you will write it as x minus 3 by 3, y plus 5 by minus 4, and z minus 7 by 5. Is that fine? Let's take another one then. So here goes the next question from your NCRT book itself. Find the foot of the perpendicular drop from the origin to a plane. Sorry, the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the origin to a plane is already given. 1, 2, comma minus 3. Find the equation of the plane. And there's one more thing. If O is the origin and the coordinates of P is 1, 2, minus 3, then find the equation of a plane passing through P and perpendicular to OP. So let's do both the questions, even though it is or. So let me just draw the situation for you. So this is your plane. Let's say this is your origin. And the foot of the perpendicular dropped from the origin here. Let me call it as point uh, M. That's 1, 2, minus 3. It's the first question then. Okay. First question is super easy. Since you know the uh, points of uh, the foot of the perpendicular and you know origin is 0, 0, 0, you can always know the direction of the normal. Correct. So the direction ratios of the line OM would be nothing but the coordinates of M itself, which is 1, 2, minus 3. Correct. And once you know the point, you can use R minus A dot N is equal to 0. Correct. So R dot N is equal to A dot N. So A itself is also this point and N is also the same point. So A vector itself is your uh, 1, 2, minus 3. By the way, I can represent vector like this also. Fine. So no need to put I, J, K every time. But when you're using it in school, please confirm from your school teachers whether you can write a vector like a column matrix. Okay. So R dot N, R dot N, N is your I plus 2, J minus 3, K is equal to A dot N. So a dot n would be 1 plus 2 square and 1 square 2 square and minus 3 square. Correct. So r dot i plus 2j minus 3k is equal to 9 plus 4, 13 plus 1, 14. Okay. Write it in a Cartesian form. It will become x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 14. Now, if you directly want to write in Cartesian form, uh, recall that you can use this formula a x minus x1 b y minus y1 c z minus z1 equal to 0 
Okay, directly you can write in Cartesian form, where A, B, C are direction ratios of the normal. X1, Y1, Z1 are the given point or is a given point on the plane. So I can write it as 1, X minus 1 plus 2, X minus 2, oh, sorry, Y minus 2. And as minus 3, Z plus 3 equal to 0. Correct? So if you expand it, it becomes x plus 2y minus 3z minus 1 minus 4 minus 9 equal to 0, which is nothing but x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 14. So multiple ways to reach to the same answer. So uh, first part is done by everyone. Is there anybody who is feeling trouble in finding this? Guys, let me tell you 3D geometry is very easy if you understand things well. But if you don't, it becomes equally difficult. I have been getting complaints from a lot of students that I don't understand 3D geometry. I am not able to imagine it. See, it's very simple. Just try to understand the basic logic behind these formulae. A uh, second part done. Yes, no, trying. So, aren't they like the same thing? Same question, right. Okay, so no need to do it. O is the origin coordinate of P is find the equation of a plane passing through P and perpendicular to OP. So same thing. So no need to do it. Let's move on to the next question. Find the equation of a plane says that the image of the point 1, 2, 3 in it is minus 1, 0, 1. Image means uh, not the projection. Image means the, the one you have when you have a plane mirror as your plane itself. So let's say this is your plane. And the point here is 1, 2, 3. When I say image, I mean this point. I mean this point. So let's say this is your object. This is your image. Many people uh, misconstrue uh, image to be the projection of the point on the plane. So the midpoint of ONM, let's say M, that is the projection of ONM. That is not the image. So read the question very carefully, whether they're asking the projection or whether they're asking you the image. Done, anyone? Yes, sir, two minutes, I'm doing it. Two minutes, okay, fine. Yes, sir, I've sent it. Oh, you could have just typed it on the chat box also, no problem. Okay, so let me see. Uh, no, Shreya, that's not correct. At least it doesn't match with the one given in the, in the answer for it. Just check once more. Yes, sir. So I sent an answer. Okay. Likhit is correct. No. Uh, no, Samyukta. Uh, uh, Samyukta. Paras. Paras, you sent me the equation of a line, it seems. I need the equation of a plane. Likhit is correct so far. Yes, now you are correct, sir. Yeah, I realized my oh, mistake. Okay, see here. Uh, I was expecting everyone to answer this. So, uh, two things you need to get the equation of a plane. One is the direction of the normal and other is a point on the plane. Correct? Now, how would I get direction of the normal to the plane? So, direction of the normal to the plane is nothing but the direction ratios of the line OI. Correct? So direction ratios of the normal to the plane is nothing but just the direction ratios of the line OI. Correct? How do you find direction ratios of any line when you know two points on it? Simple. You take the ratio or you take the difference of their coordinates. Correct? So direction ratios will be just subtracted two. That is one minus minus one. That's two. Then two minus zero. Again two. Then three minus one, which is again two. Okay, so these are the direction ratios of the normal. Now, we are, I also need a point on the plane. I can get the point by using the fact that M is the midpoint of O and I. So 
So what is the m coordinate? 1 minus 1 by 2, which is 0. Then 2 plus 0 by 2, which is 1. And 3 plus 1 by 2, which is 2. Correct? Now all I need is the equation of the plane when you know a point and the direction ratios of the normal. And that is a x minus x1. This equation is very important. Let me tell you guys. Very, very handy. Very, very useful equation. When you know the direction ratios of the normal and you know a point on the plane. Okay. So just put the values now. A is going to be 2. X minus X1 is X minus 0. B is again 2. Y minus 1. C is again 2. Z minus 2. Okay. You may drop the factor of 2 from everywhere because there's a 0 on the right hand side. So you'll end up getting X plus Y minus 1. Z minus 2 equal to 0. Which is nothing but X plus Y plus Z is equal to 3. Make sense? Happy? Okay, so don't give me the equation of line. I, I wanted the equation of a plane over here. Any questions so far? Please ask me. Is that fine? Okay, great.